everyone and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, then please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute snowman bath bombs. And they smell really good. I use the scents uh, coconut and peppermint. So I think that that is a great smell for a snowman bath bomb. And also, you could package them up in a little baggie and put a little bow tie on it and you can give it away as a gift. So I'm gonna have the recipe down in the description box and all the supplies that I use. If you wanna see how I made this adorable snowman bath bomb, then continue watching. Okay, to start off making these snowman bath bombs, I'm going to start off with one cup of baking soda and putting it into my bowl, a half a cup of Epsom salt, and this is the ultra fine crystals. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of cornstarch. Then I'm just stir those together. Before I put my citric acid in, I'm going to put all my liquids in my base here. I'm using two and a half teaspoon of sweet almond oil. I'm going to be using coconut sweet fragrance oil and also a peppermint essential oil. With my coconut sweet fragrance oil, I'm going to be using 1.25 mil. And this little dropper actually is in mil, milliliter measurements. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in 1.25 of the coconut fragrance oil. I'm gonna use one milliliter of the peppermint essential oil. I'm gonna stir that together. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of citric acid and stir that together. I'm also going to add in some iridescent glitter. This iridescent glitter is made specifically for your body and it's safe for skin. Now this is optional. You can leave this um, out if you would like. This glitter does not dissolve in the water. And also, if you wanted to add polysorbate 80, you can go ahead and add that in with your oil. It would be a ratio of one to one, but I don't find that it's necessary. And this iridescent glitter just adds a little bit of sparkle throughout the mix here. So now I'm gonna add in three quarters a teaspoon of water and you have to be very quick when you do this and pour the water in very slowly because it will react with the citric acid and it will go ahead and fizz. So be sure to stir it very quickly as you pour in the water, slowly and quickly. You can wear gloves at this point, um, but you're going to need to test your mixture to see if it's starting to form in your hand and see how mine's still breaking apart. So what I'm going to use now is some witch hazel. So I'm going to squirt in witch hazel into my mixture and I'm going to stir very quickly just like I did with the water. I need to add some more witch hazel. Okay, so this is about how I want it, where it's gonna form like this, how it forms. So now I'm going to take my bath bombs and I have a couple different types here. This one is a two and a half inch metal bath bomb. And I think this is a perfect size for a bath bomb. It's not too big and it's not too little. They also have plastic bath bomb molds where you put it in and then you can close the lid and you can gift it like that. So to mold it, I will scoop the mixture into my bottom mold and I'm going to pack it in there. And this mixture will make four bath bombs. And then you put the mixture into the other half like that and then you will put them together. You'll push them together, two sides here. Kind of twisting as you go. And this is going to form the two sides together. You can tap the top of it And now I like to have my bath bombs dry in the mold. I'm just gonna clean up this little line around the bath bomb. 
So what I like to do is I like to have my bath bomb dry in the mold. After this side has been exposed to air for 30 minutes or so, I will come and I will put this on top and then I will just turn it over. Tap that side too. Then I will let this side expose to the air. And that is how I let them dry. You can dry it like in an egg carton or something, but I find this is easier. And my bath bombs, they will stay in the shape of their circle. They won't go flat on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put it inside this. This is actually a soap mold, but it's just gonna keep it in, in you know upright position without flopping all around. And then I'm gonna finish making my other bath bombs. And then I'm going to let them dry. And then I will be back to show you how to make the snowman face on them. Okay, so to make the snowman face, I have some orange mica and I have some black oxide pigment. You might be able to get away with doing this with gel food coloring. I'm not sure if it will bleed too much, but you're more than welcome to try. If you use the gel food coloring like Wilton's, I wouldn't mix it with any witch hazel. I would just paint it on. Also, I'm going to be using a paintbrush and I have some witch hazel. And I'm just using the lid of a Tupperware container because that's easy, it's small enough. And a little spoon to scoop out a little bit of my pigment. So I am going to start off with the black. And I'm going to make a little paste by putting my pigment down there and just a little bit of the witch hazel. Just a little bit. I'm just going to try and mix that together here. I take my bath bomb. So I'm going to put the eyes on now by taking my paintbrush into the little paste that I made and just putting some dots on to make the eyes. So there's the eyes and now I'm going to go around and I'm going to make a mouth doing the same exact procedure. Okay, so I'm just going to take out just a little bit of the orange because I don't need a lot. And I'm going to do the exact same thing by just putting a little bit of the witch hazel on it. If you had a dropper that would work great. Oh. And I need another clean brush. I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'm just going to make a sideways, kind of like a little sideways triangle, and that's going to be my carrot. And there you go. A little snowman face. I'm going to take this cute little snowman bath bomb and let me just go ahead and test it to see how well it works. Oh, look at all the pretty glitter. It smells so good. This coconut and mint is perfect together. I love mint anyways and the coconut smell along with it just it smells really good. And that glitter is so pretty. Now keep in mind this glitter does not dissolve, so you'll just need to rinse off or just rinse your bathtub down. So also if you wanna give this as a gift, you can package it in a little bag here and put a little bow on it, and that would be really cute to give. Also these would um, be really good stocking stuffer. Um, I am going to be making a couple more Christmas craft videos, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. And I hope you like this one. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I would love to hear your comments down below on if you tried this and how you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.